If you have been with us all morning, you know that today is Kentucky Derby today. We are wearing some fancy hats in honor of the occasion. This one, I feel like we just, we went to great lengths this one's fun. to find this, this one. like the ladies in my church back I look like day. a barbershop quartet <laughs> member at this point. <laughs> the annual Run for the Roses always attracts society's most fashionable, including our own Dylan Dreyer, who's at Churchill Downs ahead of the big race. Oh, Dylan. <laughs> Hello, guys, and you look absolutely fabulous as well. So, uh, you know, we've been having a lot of fun this morning, thanks to the Kentucky Derby Museum with our hats. But this is the hat that I was meant to wear this morning. And uh, it was, I helped to create it with Christine Moore, who is the featured milliner of the Kentucky Derby. And it's not just the hat. The hat has to be paired perfectly with the dress. So here's behind the scenes how it all came together. They're up. Hats off to the Kentucky Derby. While it's hard to predict which horse will cross the finish line first, one thing you can bet on, over-the-top derby fashion. The suits, the dresses, and the icing on the cake, those iconic hats. Following British tradition, hats have been a featured fashion item at the Derby since the 1800s. The hats are my favorite part of this whole event here. I've worn my fair share over the years. Hi, guys. So how could I top them all this time? Well, first, I needed a dress. I need your help. Can you dress me for the Derby? Of course I can. What are the styles this year? Longer lengths, kind of uneven, flirty looks. It's a special time for you to go outside your box and be bold and be bright and be seen because everyone's going to see you at the Derby. Should we try some on? Sure, let's go. Thoughts? What do you think? Should this be the one? Got my dresses. Time for the hat. Now this one could be exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. This one I could just feel falling Again, off yeah, my head. I say no jumping jacks with that one. Christine Moore has been a hat maker for nearly 30 years. She's now the Kentucky Derby's featured milliner, crafting more than 500 hats leading up to the race. Why do you think that the thing that has stuck as a tradition with the Kentucky Derby. It's so fabulous. It's like just the pinnacle of fashion. It's elegance, head to toe. And what makes a hat a quintessential Kentucky Derby hat? There's just one thing that's just a little over the top. You could do flowers that are cascading down like this. After my consultation, Moore's team worked more than eight hours dyeing, shaping, and sewing my hat into a wide-brimmed, flower-coated, customized confection for me to wear on race day. A sure winner for the Derby. So guys, I actually had four hats made for four different outfits. I wore two yesterday. This is number three. I've been posting them on Instagram if you happen to miss it. And I've got one more to go this afternoon. And it's the dress, it's the hat, and it's everything I love about the Kentucky Derby. So you can see that one when our coverage of the 145th running of the Kentucky Derby begins today at 2.30 Eastern right here on NBC.